press button. It says this hangout on air is live. I'm live. All right. So I think this is my fourth post on this series of recording my journey building a, a trading application using Xamarin Forms and, and F Sharp. And so yesterday I, I, I wrote a blog post. If you, if you want to call it a blog post, I pretty much just dumped some images and some syntax and called it a blog post. That was yesterday in which uh, I covered the the UI or maybe the UX for um, selling shares of stock. You know, from from the landing page in which it displays your your investments, aka portfolio, to actually selecting an investment out of your portfolio and hitting sell and then entering the number of shares and from there um, observing a confirmation, acknowledging that confirmation that you do want to sell that specific number of shares and then being greeted by a confirmation request. And my dog is attacking me again. <laughs> um, so that's what I did. Yesterday, today is going to be pretty much identical. Um, the difference is that the difference is instead of uh, demoing the the sale functionality, the sale user story of of shares within this Xamarin Forms app using F Sharp, I'm going to be doing uh, the buy more uh, functionality. So basically. You, you hit your landing page when you launch the application. You see your investments, AKA portfolio. You select an investment. You hit the buy more button. That navigates to the, the, the buy page. And the context is on the, the specific stock symbol, right? From there, you enter in the, the, the number of shares that you want to purchase. And then you hit confirm. You're greeted with a confirmation um, notification, or not notification, a confirmation dialog or quote unquote alert within Xamarin Forms. You acknowledge that alert you by hence confirming. And then you get greeted with, um, uh, I guess you get greeted with a, a, a purchase request sent confirmation page. Right, doesn't guarantee that you actually bought the, the shares of stock. It just guarantees that a request was sent out. In reality, it's sent out over the wire uh, via some some web service. Right. So that's pretty much the workflow. So to discuss that, yeah, my dog was attacking me, so I had to put her on my lap. So so cookie, so so cookie. All right. So to discuss that, and go back to me. Let me let me share my, my page. Let me share my desktop. Come here, come here, come here, come here. All right. And uh, so I'm sharing. It says presents to everybody. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. And so here's my Visual Studio. Here's my emulator. Right. It's already on a landing page. Now earlier yesterday, and in my in the post that I did yesterday in which I attached the video and embedded it in that post, I did a sale. So I have Microsoft selected. So that I have 100 shares available. It's $100 per share. And I have $10,000 invested in this Microsoft stock. And I, I don't know, I picked some ar arbitrary number like nine shares. You see over here that um, it's $900 worth of shares that I am going to sell. I hit this confirm because this confirm is now enabled, right? It was disabled, you know, if you don't have anything valid, right? But you get, you get a valid number, you can't enter any uh, alpha characters. And so the confirm button gets enabled, and I think that's it's pretty neat. You hit the confirm, and you get this, you get greeted with a confirmation uh, interface saying, yo, you're selling nine shares of Microsoft. You sure you want to do that? Yeah, I want to do that. Uh, hit confirm. And then uh, request sent, sell nine shares of Microsoft at $900 in value. Yeah, all right. So, uh, so that was selling. No, this isn't going to update. I haven't wired that up yet. So translate it. We, we don't deduct the number of shares 
yet. I haven't implemented um, the, the updating of these shares based on transactions. That, that's another post. I'll do that later. Um, so I had discussed that yesterday, right? But what if I just want to buy more, right? I'll uh, do Microsoft. I'll do ROK for Rockwell Automation. I say buy more. Buying ROK, yeah. It says it's $300 a share, and I have $60,000 invested, which means that I have $20,000 worth of uh, – yeah, what's this? What is that twenty thousand? What does that twenty thousand mean? Uh, oh, I have a balance of twenty thousand, meaning that I have some some cash on me that I that I haven't yet um, done anything with. So with this twenty thousand dollars that I have to to buy some more stocks, that's what that twenty thousand dollar balance is. And I want to buy like I want to buy five. Uh, yeah, I want to buy five shares of this ROK, this Rockwell. And you see the the UX, right? It says $1,500 right under here. And I say, yeah, confirm. Ugh. I get greeted with a confirmation saying, buying five shares of ROK. That's Rockwell. I say, confirm. And it's the same thing, right? Request sent. Buy five shares of ROK. Valued at fifteen hundred dollars. <sighs> yeah. All right. So that's essentially, that's essentially it. Um, but I mean, yo, know, I gotta admit that I I got kind of lazy and I, I violated a certain principle. The do not repeat yourself. That's that's kind of what I did because. I didn't feel like thinking early in the morning when it, when I was making this update or adding this this functionality. So I violated uh, this this request sell confirm view model. I pretty much just copied that file and named it request buy confirm view model. And uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty much duplicate code. Am I already on it? Yeah, it's 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 the exact same code. At least it looks like it. And so that probably can be a maintenance concern if if the if this file or if either of these classes need to be extended. Let's hope that it, it doesn't need to be. But uh, that's that's pretty much a, a design issue that I did just being lazy. It's called cutting corners. And when I'm working professionally, I don't do that. I'm like a, a purist, you know. I'm, I'm more pure than I am a pragmatic. But uh, and that's something I need to work on. But, yeah, so I, I wanted to call that out. Something else I wanted to call out is on both of these uh, confirmation view models that, that a request has been sent, I probably don't want to throw an exception when I'm loading some, some data for the view to, to interact with because that's just going to end up in a, a crashed application. So uh, probably a more appropriate technique is to uh, navigate, raise an event saying, you know, some error has occurred. My, my application is going to, my, my code behind of my application is going to subscribe to that event. And maybe I can just navigate, you know, where's my, uh, you know, if I do control comma, do app, come here, come here, come here. Do app, yeah, that's my code behind. And so, what I probably should do, and I, I'm sure I will do it, and I'll probably discuss it in, in another post, is create an event, right? These are all events that my application subscribes to: buy requested, execute buy requested, sell requested, execute sell requested, etc. And I probably want to subscribe to a to a error occurred event. And, and based on that, I basically throw up a page that says, oops, something happened. 
and I can decide how much information I want to actually disclose on that page to the user. And uh, yeah, so that's something else that uh, it's on my radar. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So this is my solution explorer, right? I abstract away the actual details about the the integration points of this of the system because I want the domain to really be the basis of why this application is being created. And the domain is essentially core, home, managed trades, view statements. Everything else is abstracted away. This whole integration thing, nonsense, this testing thing. Who tests? You know what I mean? That, that's, that's me being, uh, I don't even know the word I'm looking for. Uh, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. Um, sarcastic, yeah. Anyway, so that's my solution explorer, right? It's, a, it's supposed to, based on Robert C. Martin's dissertation on clean architecture, scream intent. And that's essentially what I am attempting to do in this little practice of F Sharp and Xamarin forms of building a mobile application. So, yeah, that's that's it. I'm going to take this. You know what? I forgot my headset again. Damn it. That's my second time doing that. Anyway, I'm going to take this video that I'm recording, and you can see it. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You can see it on uh, on my blog, right? And so I'm going to – this is the blog post that I did – Earlier this morning when I was at Starbucks in South Beach, I'm back home now, and I'm going to take this actual video that I'm talking on, and I'm going to embed it right under this intro header, all right? And uh, that's pretty much it. So let me let me go back to me. Uh, oh, yeah, you can scroll down, and I'm just literally brain dumping syntax of what I did to come up with these different user interfaces. And I have some F sharp code. And I talk about my view. I don't talk about my view models. I just dump the syntax of it. And I have some minor updates to my domain types, which isn't really being leveraged. It, it's going to be leveraged on the back end. Well, it, it's being leveraged because that's how I I, I pass back um, arguments to, to different pages, especially through the constructors like shares info. But and stock info as well, but some of these types are just back in um, specific. Anyway, uh, let me go back to me. Uh, come here, come here, come here. Stop presenting to everybody. Let me go back to me. So that's essentially it. I'm just trying to plow ahead, and uh, I got the 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 buy page done. I got the sell page done. They don't sync with the actual investments, meaning they don't update the actual portfolio based on these specific transactions, I'll, I'll do that. I also haven't written any tests at all, which is unlike me because I usually do TDD, test-driven development. In f -sharp, it I've been experimenting and uh, at the end, again, when I'm working for a client and I'm being a professional, then I mean all day, every day, right? Because I, I believe it becomes a burden to try to retrofit tests at the end of solving a problem, right? I, I don't think that motivation is really there. And so you take shortcuts and you create excuses of deadlines and I'm too busy and oh, I have to fix bugs. Well, why are you fixing bugs? Especially if it's business logic related. Well, most okay. This is me being sarcastic. Most people don't bother to ask five whys or however many whys they're supposed to ask. But anyway, all right, I'm done venting about that. Um, that's it. So, cookie, you gonna say you gonna say goodbye? You don't know what's going on. All right, so I'm exiting out. I'm Scott Nimrod, aka Bizmonger. That's my internet name. And uh, I don't know, subscribe to my channel if, if you want to provide encouragement and tell me everything that I'm messing up on in regards to presenting because I need, I need to get that polished.
I'm available for hire. And uh, yeah, I'm out here in Miami, Florida. So that's what's up. F Sharp, support your community. And I see I have a viewer. Let me hurry up and see if they left any comments as I'm talking before I end this. How do I check my uh, – how, how do I do this? So I click over here, and let me see if I have any comments before I terminate or any questions before I terminate. And I don't see any questions from whoever is viewing this or any comments. And so in about 10 seconds, I'm about to terminate this and be on my way. Going back home to Cleveland tomorrow. So, all right. I don't see anything there. Let me go back to me. I'm out. Adios, the veo, adatito. And I'm hitting the stop broadcast right now.